let us solve one problem on this sparse tree generation here is the problem this problem uh, came in the gate exam 2013 what is the maximum number of reduced moves that can be taken by a bottom up parser so here the keywords are maximum number of so that is very important and bottom up parser that is also very important for a grammar with no epsilon and unit production that means there will be no production like a produces epsilon and unit production means we know that non-terminal produces non-terminal so that is known as unit production so non-terminal produces non-terminal that will be known as unit production so these sort of productions are not allowed to parse a tree with uh, string with n tokens that means they are asking the maximum number of reduced moves required for a bottom up parser where a capital A produces epsilon and capital A produces another non terminal capital B. These sort of production rules are not allowed, and we are supposed to find out the maximum number of uh, reductions, reduced moves we require for a string with the length n, and here are the four options. Okay, now see here as it is a bottom up parser, so we will be, we'll be taking the leaf nodes that is the W will be taking and then we shall try to reach to the S. So, in this case as my unit productions are not allowed, so on the right hand side for each and every case I shall try to write minimum number of grammar symbols, terminals or non-terminals so that I should require maximum number of reduced moves because that has been asked for. So, I shall, I shall keep the right hand side as uh, lesser length or lesser number of symbols as possible so that I can I am supposed to apply maximum number of moves for the deduction in the bottom up parser. Okay, now let us suppose as I cannot write S produces capital A because that would become unit production. So, I am writing S produces capital A capital A. As A produces small a is allowed because it is not unit production and A produces capital A capital A. I have written this one. Now, let us consider one w, okay, I am writing, let us consider one w which is a to the power of 8, that means a will be for 8 times. So, here length of w is equal to 8 and that will be the value of n, that will be the value of n, n number of tokens we are having, okay. Now, see, we are having this 8 a's, let us form the parse tree for this particular input string 8 times a. So, I shall be going for like this. Okay. So, here I required 8 number of reductions. Here you see. So, here I require 4 number of reductions, 4 times production rules used which one a produces capital a capital a this one again i am using the same so now at last i am applying this so here i applied one time production rule so how many times in total that is 15 so that is 2 into n minus 1 that is 15. So, 15 is less than equal to 15. So, that means my value will be 2 n minus 1. If I go for a, if I go for w is equal to a to the power of 6, that means we will be having a for 6 times. In that case also, we will be having the derivation tree or the parts tree like this. So, in this way. Now, how many, how many productions are there? 6. How many productions are there? 3. How many productions? 2. What is that? That is 11. So, 2 into 6 minus 1. What is that? 11. So, I shall be going for the option 2 to the power of sorry 2 into n minus 1. So, that is the maximum number of moves that will be required. If the right side right hand side is containing more than more than 2 um, grammar symbols in this case, then obviously my number of productions required, number of reductions required will be less in that case lesser. 
So that is here we are having the maximum number of uh, deductions we require. So I shall be going for the option number C. So that is 2n minus 1. In this way the problem has been solved. Thanks for watching this video.